Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is the roundup for the week ending on Saturday, April 14th, and I am sick once more. In my old age, my immune system has apparently become weak, and every time it changes temperature to the extreme, from cold to hot or hot to cold, I get some kind of a sinus thing. And uh, over here in North Carolina, that's been happening a lot as the seasons can't make up their mind uh, whether they want to change or not. It goes from 75, 80 degrees one day to 50 degrees the next, and every time that happens, my sinuses rebel. So I'm not a happy camper. I didn't accomplish anything this weekend in terms of video creation because I just simply could not. Even after I secured the good stuff, the good sinus medicine that they keep behind the counter because you make meth out of it, even when I got that stuff, I still wasn't clear enough to do a video and you should be able to hear it in my voice. Fact of the matter is I can't talk for more than a minute or so before I have to go And that just doesn't make for very pleasant video creation. So not going to have much for you next week. I might try to squeeze something out if the sinus is clear. Otherwise, let's just talk about what we did this past week. We took a look into Indie Royale's April Fool's Bundle by looking at two of the games, Alien Zombie Megadeth, which I love saying if you can't tell, and Astro Tripper. These were two very similar games who had very similar styles. They used the same engine, the same interface, and uh, somewhat the same physics and game mechanics, but they were different enough that they were, in fact, uh, completely separate games. These were not fantastic games, but for what they were and for what they intended to be, they were great. Uh, Astro Tripper kind of wasn't my thing, but I did indeed enjoy playing it for a short time. It eventually began to frustrate me, and uh, I gave up on it, but uh, Alien Zombie Megadeth was a fun sort of casual game. It was very friendly uh, at first to a casual player. It did get hard as you went forward. They added different mechanics and things that kept it interesting, and uh, I really enjoyed Alien Zombie Megadeth uh, much more than I enjoyed Astro Tripper, but both games are worth your time, and if indeed you got the, al uh, the uh, Alien the uh, Indie Royale April Fool's Bundle, you have those games and you should check them out. Of course, as I mentioned in my sort of vloggy video uh, late this week, they did get mentioned by Indie Royale, and I really, really, really love that. Uh, like I said, it means that these guys took a look at my videos and they thought that they were something that they could use to promote their products. And I really like that they thought that highly of my stuff, because as I said, I think highly of the two uh, teams that are behind Indie Royale, Desura, the Steam-alike for indie games, and indie Ro uh, IndieGames.com. They both together run the Indie Royale. I like both those sites. I use both those sites on a regular basis. And I'm really, really happy uh, that they seemed to enjoy my stuff, at least enough to tweet about it. So what else did we do this week? Well, uh, not a whole lot. I did that vloggy video in which I asked you guys to suggest a tagline, and I appreciate that a lot of you guys just said, well, you know, be yourself, do your thing. Um, I was hoping that some of you would sort of take it as an opportunity to inject a little madcap zaniness uh, into a couple of my videos, and at least one person did, and I knew that he would. Uh, that is Matt Yee, the Matt Yee from Impromptu gaming, and uh, I appreciate him giving me a little something that I will use next week. Uh, you know, I appreciate the, the rest of you who said, you know, hey, just do your thing. Uh, you don't need to be uh, flashy and stupid and have a, a crazy zany tagline, and I appreciate that, uh, because it means that you guys get what I'm doing, and you know that I'm a genuine person, and, and doing something silly and outrageous wouldn't really be who I am, so uh, I really appreciate that. Um, but I am going to use Matt's line and at least a, another one or two of the suggested lines that people did throw out there, so look for those next time I'm able to physically able to make videos. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Tribes of Sin since I can't really actually make videos, and uh, I'm really enjoying that. Add me in-game. Big Dave is cheap. If you add me as a friend, it will show that you've added me, and I'll add you right back, and we can be happy and play Tribes together. Uh, I'm watching a lot of pro streamers lately. Uh, Tribes is actually, uh, from the beginning of its development, it has positioned itself as a possible uh, next big thing in esports. And a lot of the esports guys out there, the guys who play games professionally, uh, they are all 
embracing it. A lot of the FPS players are embracing it, and I'm talking about FPS players who have played a little bit of everything. I mean, there are a couple of guys I watch from Area 51, uh, Zoid Bergenstein in particular, and uh, the dude is just a, a pro game lifer. I mean, this guy played Brink professionally, and you know that you're hardcore if you played Brink on the pro scene. Uh, you know, these guys get sponsored to play these games, and they play them and sometimes they like him, sometimes they don't. But he is genuinely infatuated with Tribes. He has called it the best game he's ever played as far as a competitive uh, FPS. So I'm really excited that it is building a pro scene because as you've seen with StarCraft II and League of Legends, if a game like this can establish a pro scene, then it, it can become a very, very big thing. There were also a lot of reports that High Res's booth and the Twitch uh, high res party at PAX East were major deals and, and really big things. And that high res is really putting themselves out there as a major contender, uh, in the free to play market. And that's an absolutely uh, amazing thing to hear. Uh, speaking of Twitch, uh, I am getting the Twitch TV channel. That's Twitch TV slash big Davis cheap. I believe I'm getting that in shape to do some streaming. And I'll tell you a little bit about my plans for streaming. What I'm going to do is uh, every day I get a chance for about 30 minutes to an hour to play a little something. Just before I go to bed, I get a chance to play uh, some Tribes or some Blacklight Retribution, maybe a quick uh, game of uh, uh, Dominion and League of Legends, uh, maybe sit down with some of the games that I enjoy like Darksiders, which I'm playing through for a second time, or Brawl Busters or Micro Volts, some of those games. I get a brief opportunity every day to sit down with those games, and what I'm going to start doing is just streaming those. So I'm going to stream whatever I play whenever I get a chance to play it. So watch out, follow me on the Twitch TV channel if you are at all interested in streaming. The main reason I'm doing this is because I just want to experience streaming. I want to do it to say that I've done it, and if I enjoy it, and if it's not too intrusive, then it's something I'll continue to do. I'm even considering streaming my video creation process, but that's going to occur very early in the morning hours of the Eastern time. So if you would be up for watching me stream my video creation process live at, say, four o'clock in the morning on a Friday morning, then you're more than welcome to tune into my Twitch. Just follow me on Twitch and uh, you will know when I am streaming. Apart from that, I don't really think there's anything more to talk about. As you can tell, my voice has it's completely degraded from the very beginning of this. I am losing it very quickly. This is the reason that you don't have any videos for next week, because as I said, despite the fact that I'm on the good medication, the stuff you make meth out of, it has not completely cured me. So uh, don't look for any videos next week. That way, if you get something, that'll be a big thumbs up bonus. I will definitely try to do something, but I just don't want to commit to anything with a promise. Uh, I just don't have the voice right now. And if I get it by, say, Wednesday, I may put something out for Thursday. Day, but apart from that, don't look for much from me this week other than updates on the website, tweets, and uh, maybe some possible light streaming on Twitch TV. I haven't decided if I'm going to start streaming this week or next week or what, so uh, watch out for that. Check the link below for my Twitch page, follow me on Twitch, check the website. April is giveaway month, we still have half the month to go, and I have several more things to give away, so keep your eyes peeled for those giveaways, and we will continue to move forward in the future. The next couple of giveaways I do won't be these flash giveaways, where if you're not there at the moment that I post them, you don't get them, because there are a lot of bots and things that troll for those and search for those. So I don't want those being snatched up by folks who are not my actual viewers. And I think the post-apocalyptic mayhem code did get snatched up in that way. So the next one I do will be a straight up giveaway uh, where I will ask a question or, or just ask you to put your name down and I'll draw randomly for winners. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. I don't know what you've been watching on your screen, but it's probably tribes. All right. Ah, I need to rest my voice, I need to rest my nostrils, and I need to rest my body. So, until next time, take it easy.